Welcome to the Epic Vibrant Balls channel where we love all reptiles. In today's video we're going to go through how to assemble our complete ball python setup whether you buy the one that's for the baby ball python or the adult ball python. Uh, the setup is exactly the same except for the size of the heat map and the size of the tub. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take everything out of your tub. You should have gotten an instruction sheet on how to set up the enclosure. You should have gotten some bedding, a heat map, whether this, it could be this size, it could be the bigger one if you got the bigger enclosure. You should have gotten some full tape, a thermostat, a hide, whether it be this, the medium hide or the small hide. So we now have two, two options for the water dish. Um, so you have the heavy glass bowl or you have this coupler. Uh, neither one, uh, either one is a good option. They'll both create the right humidity. Uh, the bowl is very heavy so it's hard for the animal turnover, especially the babies. Uh, the plastic coupler has a very wide base so it keeps the animal from turning it over because of how wide it is. The coupler is really nice because you can put 8 inch deli cups in here, disposable deli cups. That way, if your animal has a dirty bowl, you need to change his water, you can just drop it in a new deli cup. You can wash the original deli cup you had. You can, or you can use the, the coupler itself as a bowl. You can just put the water in here, wash it, clean it whenever you need to. But if you use the deli cups, you can just change out a deli cup, wash the deli cup whenever you get a chance, then next time you have a new bowl to put in. So once you have your tub emptied, first thing you're going to want to do is get your thermostat set up. So you're going to go ahead and take your thermostat out of the box. And when it comes out of the box, it's going to have a little plastic suction cup. So you want to take that off because we're not going to use that in the way we use the thermostat. So you, don't, you can just put the suction cup aside because you're not going to need that. Um, the other thing you're going to need to do is take your heat mat out of the wrapper. Do not when you take it out of the wrapper. It's going to have this white backing on it. Don't take the white backing off because we need to keep that on there. It's going to be sticky as soon as you take it off, so you want to be ready when you, when you take it off. So what you're going to do is you get your thermostat ready to go. So sometimes it has a zip tie on the cords too, so get all that off. So when you get done, you should have your thermostat. It's going to have two cords coming out of it. One cord is your plug for the wall, and the other cord is this silver probe. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to attach the silver probe onto the heat mat. So you just take your backing off. It's really easy to take your backing off. Put your silver probe right in the middle of your heat mat. Then you're going to take some of the silver tape and you're going to tape down the probe but leave the tip of the probe exposed. So you're just going to tape it down just like that. The reason we tape it down is the silver tape, the foil tape, is not affected by heat so it won't, the adhesive won't come off because you want to make sure your probe stays on your heat mat because that's going to control how hot this mat gets. Okay, so once you have your heat mat and your probe set up, what you want to do is attach it to your tub, whether it be this tub or the other tub, they're both going to be done the same way. You want to attach it along the, the bottom of one side of the tub. You don't want to run it this way across the tub. It won't give your animal the proper cool spot and hot spot. You want to run it this way across your tub. So you can run it. It doesn't matter if you put it on this short end or this short end. And you're going to attach it like this. Not like this, but like this. So that the animal has a hot spot, a hot side with a hot spot, and a cool side. So it can thermoregulate properly. Now, it's not going to stick 100% and super well, but as it heats up, it'll stick better, and the tub is not going to be moving around that much, so it's fine if it, if it just sits on top of it. Um, then you're then going to get your cord for your heat mat, and you're going to plug it in to your thermostat. 
The only thing that gets plugged into the wall is the thermostat. So you take your cord for your heat mount and you're going to plug it into your thermostat. If you look at the bottom of your thermostat, let's move the tub over. If you look at the bottom of your thermostat, you have a place for a plug. Your plug goes right in the bottom of that. Now that we have this assembled, what we're going to do is we're going to plug the thermostat, which is the only thing that goes plugged into the wall, plug the thermostat into the wall. You see the tub doesn't stick very well. It's fine. It'll stick once it warms up. If you have some of your foil tape left over, you can tape some of the corners down to help it adhere a little bit better to the tub. So we're just going to plug our thermostat in and I will show you how we're going to go about setting the thermostat. Thermostat again is the only thing that gets plugged into the wall. Thermostat will come on. You'll get your display. Right now it's reading 86.1. So I will press and hold down the yellow set button. The display will start blinking. Once it starts blinking, I can use the up and down arrows to set it. Once I get to the area where I want to be, all you have to do is hit the set button again. We recommend that you start probably around 94 degrees uh, because the heat, your, your, the thermostat is controlling the heat on the heat mat, not inside the enclosure. So it's going to have to come off the mat, through the plastic, and then dependent on what substrate you put in there, whether you use the Repti chip or use paper towels, the heat is going to have to radiate up to get to your animal. So you're going to go ahead, you're going to set your thermostat. You are going to put in your substrate. In this case, I'm going to use paper towels. I do give you the rep chip. It's a personal preference as to which one you use. Um, I prefer paper towels because it's just so much easier to change the animal, make sure the animal is clean. Um, it also, I don't have to wet the paper towels and all that. Everything stays with the water evaporating inside the plastic. It's, the humidity is fine. With the Reptichip, you have to wet it. If you wet it too much, it'll mold. If you don't wet it enough, it'll be really dry. So it's a little, you have to play with the Reptichip to make sure you have it at the right Consistency, what it should be is it should be dry on the top, but if you flip over your Repti chip and look at some of the ones on the bottom, they should be damp. It should never be wet, it should never be dripping. It's going to be wet when you wet it, but it should dry out to the point where the top should be dry and the bottom should be uh, moist. And then you're going to need to flip your, uh, your Repti chip over a, several times a week just so that the bottom doesn't stay really, really wet and be moldy and the top is really, really dry while your animal. Just mix them in, mix them around and moisten it every now and then just to keep it dry on the top and moist on the bottom. So the really nice thing about the paper towels is usually two sheets will cover your floor of your enclosure. You're then going to want to replace your hive and it goes over the heat mat. So whichever side you selected for your heat mat, your hide is going to go over that side. So you're going to put your paper towels or your cocoa, whatever you want to put, put your heat mat, and put the lid on. And then we're going to give it about 30 minutes to let it come up to temperature. So you can look on your thermostat. It has a heating area where a little light will come on if it's if it's actually heating and have it'll have a red light to show you its power and it's got a red light to show you if it's heating or not. Uh, the temperature we're shooting for is anywhere on the heat mat of 90 to 92. It does it all we don't want the whole heat mat to be 90. We don't want the whole mat to be 92. We want a spot when we run our heat temp gun around it to be 90 to 92. So after 30 minutes is gone, you're going to want to get your temp gun. It's just a infrared. It's got a laser. Um, open your enclosure. Remove your hide. And immediately check.
to see what your temperatures are. So I'm going to run around on my mat area, wherever my mat is, and see what my temperature display is. Right now it's reading, I got 87 is the highest number I got. So if I let this thing sit long enough, we can see the temperature raise and give it that 30 minutes. If it's not hot enough, you want to adjust your thermostat up one or two degrees only. Give it some more time, give it another 30 minutes. Because it's not an immediate raise, so you have to give it some time to have to heat up the enclosure. If it is the right temperature, put your hide back in, put your water bowl, whichever one you selected, place it on the cool side, not on the mat. Hide goes over the heat mat. You're ready to put your new baby snake in or adult snake. Your new ball python is ready for its home. Put him in there. Set him up, change of water maybe every two or three days, just make sure it has fresh water. And do not play with him or handle him until after that first week. Feed him in his enclosure. Uh, usually recommend just, if you can, get the hide. If he's out, then just feed him and then take his hide out. If he's in his hide, just remove his hide. Do not put your fingers in the hole if he thinks. If he smells food and he's looking for food and you put your warm hand in front of the hide box, all he's going to see is a warm signature. He might tag you. Remove the hide from the anywhere away from the hole. Remove the hide. Feed your snake. He eats. Once he finishes swallowing his food, put his hide box back in. You can put, if he's eating, you can take his hide out, you can put his lid back on, lock him down, let him finish eating, come back, he's done eating, put his hide back, spike in. Close him up. Let him digest that evening. Let him digest the next day, and then you can start playing with him. Thank you for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing. And thank you for purchasing our Ball Python complete setup.